Hey everyone, I'm back finally. It has been a long two months, but Sadie and I are well, and I hope that you guys are too. I know that it is a tough time, but I hope that you guys are staying safe. But anyway, I'm really excited to be back and this video, I'll be trying out popular K-beauty items from Style Vanna. So Style Vanna is an online store that has pretty much all the K-beauty brands out there, even Japanese brands. And when I say all, I mean like even those hard to find ones. So they have Crave Beauty, they have Amuse, they have Rare Kind, they even have the popular uh, Circle Lens, which is Olens, which is actually pretty good. So if you guys are interested to check them out, I do have a coupon code down below for you guys to use to get an extra discount but I'm really excited to do this video because I do have a lot of interesting and good products here so um, all the products that I'll be sharing in this video is gifted to me by Savanna but of course I'll be sharing with you guys my honest thoughts and review so first up I'll be sharing with you guys the cushion foundation that I use to create this makeup look so what I use is the Hamish Artless Perfection Cushion so this brand or Hamish is quite popular in their cleansing balm and I've tried it and it's actually pretty good. Their cushion foundation however I haven't tried it and this is my first time checking them out and honestly I'm really impressed with this cushion foundation. A lot of people have recommended this but I've just not tried it and I don't know why and now that I've tried it it's actually pretty good like it just gives me that nice um, medium coverage like it does says that it gives you that light to medium but I do think that if you have some blemishes it can cover up pretty pretty well so I do think that you can build this up to be a high coverage it is somehow like a semi matte finish like it does promote it as a dewy finish that gives you that radiant glow but for me I do think that it's a semi matte because it doesn't give me that that really shiny look like some dewy cushion gives me that kind of greasy look but this doesn't really give you that so if you don't really like those heavy dewiness that kind of looks greasy this is something that's perfect for you because it doesn't have that extreme oiliness or greasiness or shininess uh, but it just gives you that tiny hint of glow on your cheek or on your face and it really does give you that radiant glow so this makeup that i have right now i don't have loose powder on top so it just plainly uh, the cushion foundation and i use a cream blush so that you you can really tell the natural finish of this um, cushion and i really really love this honestly and i would say that it does adhere pretty well because um like i said i didn't put any loose powder and it hasn't moved i have worn this for like five hours and i can tell that it, it's actually pretty good in terms of longevity and adherence it does crease a little bit on my upper lid when I applied it, but I think it's pretty normal when you apply any foundation or cushion, it's pretty much the same. I did a finger press test. You can tell that it left a mark on my cheek, but it's not as worse compared to the other cushion foundation that I've tried that has that greasy feeling. The uh, shade that I used here is number 23, which is my typical cushion uh, shade. And the cushion foundation or the cushion of this foundation is the mochi type so when i say the mochi type it has the foundation um, in the middle so it's not like the typical one that once you open it it has the foundation combined with the cushion if you guys know what i mean but it's just the mochi type it helps to not dry out the uh, foundation quickly because you only dispense the product as you press it so it's actually pretty good i definitely love this and you guys should check this out and now for my eyeshadow so for my eyeshadow I use this Chica e Chico one shot eye palette. So this is the shade Mellow Sand number seven and it has all the pretty pinkish nude shades. I definitely love this because it has all the matte shades. They don't have the shimmery shades. Um, and for me, I like it like that. But for you, if you're not really into matte shades, maybe this is not for you, but definitely something that I really love. I wouldn't say that it's very pigmented compared to like Western eyeshadow, but it's a pretty decent um, eyeshadow palette for uh, a Korean brand. So when I tried it, it just uh, gives me that nice matte eyeshadow look um, it's buildable it will have a little bit of fallout once you use it but it's not really that much so it you can easily just brush it off with a brush I definitely love this because it looks natural and to be honest it's actually pretty good for a Korean eye palette definitely go check this out this is again the Chica e Chico one shot eye palette and this is mellow sand now on top of my eye makeup what I did is I tried this McQueen jewel potent glitter liner so 
I put this on top of my eyeshadow and also on my lower lash line and guys it created that nice Korean glittery eyeshadow look and I really love it I'm not really um, into glittery eyeshadow to be honest and I haven't really tried this type of liners just because I'm not really into glitter um, eye makeup but when I try this I'm actually quite impressed just because it added that different eyeshadow look once I added this so when I first applied the eyeshadow with just the matte shades it looks like just a normal eyeshadow but once you added this it just created that nice glittery and just nice glowy look on your eyes it doesn't add to the color so it's kind of translucent in that way and it doesn't have those big glitters it does wipe off pretty easily so what i just use is um, a makeup remover pad or tissue and it does remove pretty easily so it's not really those that leaves those glittery residue so i definitely love this and you guys should check this out if you are into those korean or k-beauty eye makeup look that looks um, really aegyo or like very cute I would say so this is definitely something that you guys should check out and for my eyeliner I use this popular or I would say like an OG gel liner in the Korean beauty world and this is the Tony Moly back gel liner I think and it comes with a tiny brush here and I would say that it's quite decent I wouldn't say that it's perfect but um, compared to other gel liner that has a brush with it this is actually quite good because it gives you that option to create a thick line and it also gives you that option to draw like the thinnest line and it's pretty smooth it glides evenly or easily on your lid when you apply it so uh, the shade that I have here is number three and it has that tiny shimmer on top of it so it doesn't give you that very thick brown color on my lid so it's actually pretty good if you're not into those very jet black or thick black liner this is definitely a good one but i'm pretty happy with it and a lot of people have said that tony moly gel liner is good and i must agree that it's actually really good and this is again the tony moly back gel liner brush i think and now last is the lip product that i have on my lips right now so i definitely love this lip makeup look that i've created and i use this i'm mimi multi lip crayon i think that's the name of it at first when i looked at it it looks kind of tacky just by the look of the packaging um, it reminds me of my color pens when i was young and honestly it's a good idea but it just looks kind of tacky for me for a packaging but I must say the product itself inside is pretty good. It just gives you that nice matte finish. It's a nice um, tactic because it gives you four color options in one lip product. So you can actually bring this with you for traveling and you don't have to bring like tons of lip color if you can't decide. So this is definitely a good idea. Um, and what I used here is the top color and at the middle part I added this uh, darkest color here. So I really love it and honestly um, it just gives me that nice lip color I mean you wouldn't really think that it comes from like a tacky lip product here but product itself is really good um, some people might not like it because it just has the tiniest product but I would say that you know if you have a lot of lipstick collection it doesn't really bother me because you can't really go through all of your lip product at one go it doesn't last that long it will definitely fade once you start eating and drinking of course but definitely a good one like it just creates that nice makeup look i would say so guys those are all the k-beauty makeups that i used to create this makeup look and honestly i'm pretty happy with it i did add some other products to finish off my makeup such as blush and mascara and all that but those are all the products that i used to create this makeup look and i must say that i'm pretty happy with it like look at the cushion foundation it just really created that nice base for my skin and plus the jewel pot uh, glitter liner i was pretty happy with it i wasn't quite expecting that i'll love it but it just created that nice dimension on my eyeshadow plus the lip product this is definitely the best that i've tried here in this collection and i'm really happy so thanks style vanna for sharing these products to me i am really highly recommending this to all of you guys if you're interested and of course go check out style vanna i do have a lot of products on my cart right now and i'm going to 
probably finalize my order because they really have all the products that I've been really wanting to try. So I hope that you guys could check them out. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this and I hope that you're well and healthy and I'll speak to you guys very soon. Bye! Thank you.